In this screencast, we're going to look at the idea of creating categories in your grades. Um, so, you know, many of you are going to have lengthy grade books and have multiple assignments in it. One of the um, one of the aspects or features that Moodle has is that you're able to create categories inside your, your grade, your grade book essentially, where you can lump assignments together. And students would be able to see it in this view as well. So say you want to maybe lump it together in week one assignments so that you can put all the week one activities in the grade book into one category and week two and vice versa. Or you want all your learning team versus individual or you want to break it up with um, form post versus papers versus quizzes. However you want to section it. So the way we're going to do that is that in, when you first log into your course and you're on your interface or your welcome page, home page, however you want to view it, come under the administration block and we're going to click on grades. This is a common place we're going to go to. Now the people you see in here, these are actually instructors enrolled in this and this is all fic fictitious. None of this is real. I've plugged these numbers in for something else. So, so don't worry. Uh, if you see your name, it's okay. You really didn't score that. Um, but what we're going to do here, when you get to this screen, choose an action, drop that menu down in the top left and under categories and items click on simple view. You'll see right now I just have three assignments in here just to kind of illustrate how to do this. Um, in the middle if you come down you have these options to add a category. Okay, So go ahead and click on add category. Now when the screen refreshes this is where you kind of get to set up the category you're adding. So for instance, for instance, I'm going to title this just sample category. And this would actually, what will happen is that Moodle will calculate a category total. And how do you want the category total calculated? I would calculate the category total the same way you calculate the grades for the course total. So that's what you do with this drop down menu. Um, I have it set right now for simple weighted, so I'm just going to leave it there. You can do it different, um, but you know, you run the risk of confusing your students. And it is kind of nice to be able to lump together to see as an instructor uh, to look in to see an entire category and see how well students, uh, a student did or students did on a particular category, a group of assignments. It's another way to kind of view their progress. Aggregate only non-empty grades. Um, part of the thing in Moodle's gradebook is that if you don't enter a grade, uh, give it a numerical value, it doesn't calculate it unless you tell it to. Uh, so we want to take this off. That way, if you were to forget, um, it has pros and cons. If you were to, you know, forget or not grade an assignment, um, and you leave the space blank, it will uh, it will calculate it as part of the grade. To where, if you were to check it, if you weren't, uh, if you didn't grade an assignment, um, it wouldn't calculate it as part of the grade. When I say grade, I mean the category total. So say you have, you know, 50-50 and together, you know, both assignments are worth 50 points each and it's 100%, so the student would have 100% for that category. Well, let's say you, um, with it checked, it, it'll read both of them. With it unchecked, let's say you left one of them blank, it'll read that as zero points and then the student would have 50%. When in reality, maybe you just haven't graded it yet. So those are options you have to think about and consider. Um, Aggregate including subcategories, you can always go in and create subcategories as well. So categories within a category, uh, so that's something to keep in mind. And then drop the lowest, this is, you know, the lowest one, two, three, four. This is the idea of when it, when the category accumulates its, its category total, if you want it to drop the lowest grade uh, or the lowest two, three, four grades, it can. Now down here in this section, this is actually would be creating an assignment. Um, that would appear in the gradebook in the category. I encourage you to create assignments um, either through on your home page by adding an activity or assignment that you want created or there's another tutorial on how to come in and individually create assignments. I wouldn't do it through this way. I would just create categories um, and then I will show you how to move items into a category. It's pretty simple. So once you've done that, let's go ahead and click Save Changes. And when, after you save changes, you'll see your screen refresh. And this is the title of your category. And you see right now category total. Um, and this is where you can weight the category as far as um, collectively how much influence the category total will have on the final grade. Um, but to get assignments into it, notice there aren't any assignments in there. The way you'll move assignments into your category you've created is you see over here the same arrows we have on the welcome page of the interface. 
um, to move items up and down. Go ahead, so I want to move how to use the lesson module down into the sample category. So I'm going to click on that icon and just like you do on the, on the uh, previous page, check or you're going to click your mouse or cursor um, where you want the item to move to. So you could swap places or in this case we want to move it into the sample category. So I'm going to click there and you notice now when the screen refreshes your item appears under that category. Okay, And you see here category total again is based on 100%. This assignment is worth 10 points or so brought it, it's 10 points down into there. Okay, and you can move assignments out. If I want to take it out, I click on it, I pick where I want it, and you notice how it's moved it out. So you can move assignments in and out of categories. So it's a nice way to um, you know, compartmentalize your activities and assignments in your grade book for students. So it's something to think about. When you're finished, of course, you want to make sure that you hit save changes, otherwise your work will disappear and you'll have to start all over again. After you do that, we'll come back up here and click on grades to go back into the gradebook view. And notice here, I have a category now, sample category, okay? And if there was an item in it, it would appear underneath it and it would give you, as you can see here, move your screen over, um, it would give you a category total, okay? So the item would appear and the point total would appear in here um, and it would stay in the gradebook and students would be able to see it from that view as well.